excited to give you our halfway progress update for our 2023 year. OK has been very busy so far in the first six months, uh, particularly focusing our attention on education and professional development and strongly advocating for the profession. So reflecting on our education and professional development plans through the first half of the year, the OK is really excited to have hosted five webinars on topics that span the scope of practice. I just want to remind you that all of these, if you didn't get a chance to watch them live, are available to our members via our key platform. We're also really proud to have launched our first season of Conversations, the podcast series that you can download uh, through Google Podcasts or Spotify. Really encourage you to check them out. Uh, if you have checked them out or if you have ideas, we actually love to hear your thoughts and reflect on, on this first, uh, first season. If you have feedback, again, please let us know. Uh, we are working on a season two, which we hope to launch in the fall, uh, and your feedback will be really important in helping us shape those efforts. On the education uh, professional development side, the last thing I wanted to mention is just a quick save the date. So every year, the OKA and all of the other provincial kinesiology associations work very closely with the Canadian Kinesiology Alliance, or CKA, uh, to support the KinCan conference. And if you haven't already seen the news, uh, we're really excited the CKA is leading this KinCan conference again. And I just ask you to mark your calendars for November 4th and 5th. This will be a national conference, and it is virtual, so we can all attend from the lecture room. Home, uh, so be sure to mark your calendars. I want to shift gears a little bit and talk about all of the advocacy efforts that have been happening at the OKA in the last six months and, and where we've been so far. So I've been speaking quite a bit about our health spending account campaign, uh, which has included reaching out to uh, insurance companies to make sure that you know folks are given access to health spending accounts and or direct uh, being allowed to directly bill for kinesiology services, but also reaching out to employers, uh, employer groups, and to kinesiologists and to the general public to make sure everyone is aware of uh, the fact that you know nearly 50% of all benefits plans have a health spending account and kinesiology is an eligible service that you can cover in those accounts. So we continue to work on that, uh, but we've also been actively engaged in a number of other areas, which I just want to briefly update now. One area uh, where board member, OK board member Jory Kettles has been supporting our efforts is with the Rehab Care Alliance. And the Rehab Care Alliance, or RCA, is an Ontario health funded organization that provides guidance or feedback to the province on ways to strengthen and standardize rehabilitative care. The OK has really been involved in the Workforce Initiative Task Group, which generates uh, advice on ways to address Ontario's current helmet human health resource challenge. So we continue to advocate in that group to highlight and showcase the, the many and varied ways that kids can support rehabilitative care in Ontario. We've also continued to ramp up our direct government advocacy efforts and had recent meetings with Sam Osterhoff, the parliamentary assistant responsible for red tape production. And here we've really been advocating to updates uh, to the OCF 18 form for kids that might work in uh, motor vehicle accident rehab to permit our kids to sign off on those as, as regulated health practitioners. That's been a, a strong barrier for a number of uh, our members for a long time, and we're hopeful to move this forward uh, with Sam's support in the, in the red tape production office. Via our partnership with the Ontario Chronic Disease Prevention Alliance, or OCDPA, we've also been working with MPP Robert Martin, who some of you may know from the Eglinton Lawrence writing, to support a motion calling for an Ontario chronic disease strategy. And this is really important given you know, the growing number of chronic diseases we're seeing in our communities. Uh, but it's also important to position kids as experts that can really uh, not only help folks that have chronic disease, diseases, reduce the severity of these diseases, diseases or manage these diseases, but perhaps more importantly, support the prevention uh, and the slowing of, of the disease propagation through the community. So we're really excited to continue working with Robin Martin, VR OCD partners on that initiative as well. We've had close conversations with researchers at the University of Health Network, where we're working together uh, to advocate to the government around the Ontario Health's Community Stroke Rehab Strategy and making sure that that strategy incorporates best evidence that suggests that stroke rehab patients can really benefit, particularly from aerobic exercise, much earlier in the rehab process than is currently facilitated by, by the existing Ontario Health Strategy. So again, we're continuing to advocate here so that patients, clients get the best care possible, but noting the value of aerobic exercise 
and particularly the expertise that our kids bring to that community to support those individuals in safely uh, participating and engaging in, in graded exercise according to, to FIT principles or, or what might guide that uh, training recommendation. We're also really excited about our own internal community of practice for kids practicing in primary health care, uh, which was recently launched, and you may have seen some of the emails around that. And this network is really exciting because it provides a mechanism to support one another in advocacy and professional development. And what's most exciting is it's already paying dividends. So some of the earlier conversations where uh, our OK incoming president, Matthew Mendez, has been spearheading this initiative, uh, he's been able to use some of those early conversations to share the return on investment that his family health team has seen from having uh, our kids within their family health team providing uh, patient care and contributing to government uh, government mandated patient reported outcomes that are important. And because of that casual information sharing, other family health teams have been able to make the business case to actually hire kins. Uh, so add more kin positions to these family health teams, which we're really excited about supporting at the OKA, uh, creating more jobs and more opportunities for kins to, to practice to the full extent of their scope. Lastly, on the advocacy side, uh, we continue to ramp up for our fall Queens Park Day. So in addition to being welcomed into the legislature, we're planning a series of curated meetings with our parliamentarians to advocate for key actions that again will create more jobs and opportunities for our kids to practice to the full extent of their scope within Ontario's health system. It's a really exciting day. We're continuing to plan out uh, some of those meetings, identifying the, the specific MPPs that we need to meet with to advocate for particular issues. Uh, but as always, we welcome your input here as OK members. If you have any specific requests that you'd like the OK to advocate for on your behalf, we'd love to hear them uh, and sooner rather than later so we can begin uh, packaging and curating those um, advocacy requests as we move forward. So again, with that, that wraps up my, my June update here uh, as we've moved through the first six months. Really excited about the progress. Thank you to all of you who've already sent notes, um, you know, reminding us uh, where we've been uh, doing well and also providing context and, and uh, insights and comments into areas where we can continue to improve as an OKA to support you and add value for the membership. So with that, we'll, we'll take a little break here. I will report back. Uh, you can expect another update in September. And just know that the OK continues to work on your behalf behind the scenes, uh, remaining very active. And we always welcome any thoughts or feedback that you have from the membership. So please never hesitate to, to reach out. Uh, enjoy the summer. Hopefully everybody gets an opportunity to enjoy the lovely weather uh, and some R&R. &R. See you in September.